So here is a new um, spot welding machine that I received. Um, I wasn't able to see any serious um, review on the YouTube. So I'll be doing a review now. It's my first spot welder. I have strips of 015 here and uh, the one provided that are 012. So this should be standing still where I Okay, so it's fully charged, it keeps in memory the last recorded setting. Um, so I'm doing that with my phone. And uh, just do a quick video here. I don't know how I'm going to put that. Well, first the 015 is not um, really working. Spot welder is not powerful enough. Let's show you full power. So it's fully charged here. So this is 015, that shouldn't actually it's better than I thought it would be. Better than I thought it would be. Better than my previous test. Hang on, how am I going to Third hand. Let's try this. Not bad. Better than I thought it would be. Let's do more. Oh, that full power there. The manual documents the. The manual documents the. Zero twelve 12 max. So we can say it's uh, a showstopper away based on the description. So full power on zero fifteen. So it's acceptable. Bare minimum is probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, now zero twelve is um, providing, in my opinion, much better results. I'm coming back on four out of six power rating. Hope you can see something. Always six. Uh, I hope it auto focus. Don't have the equipment that most of the YouTuber have. It's uh, probably a bit too light here also. Actually, it's not too bad. We have um, not bad on four out of six power. Let's try six out of six on this zero twelve strip. Hope you 
to see something. Six out of six. Uh, that's what I would say satisfactory. So every single strip has a hole in them. Every single weld. Um, so in my opinion, zero twelve full power. Based on this kind of a testing, anyway. And there's something I wanted to show you is the inside. That I find actually relatively well built. For a spot welder, less than 40 euros delivered. Um, it's um, sealed, unfortunately. Well, didn't. I didn't uh, manage to take the inside out, but I'll show you what we can see from the side. Um, there is one thing I would say. It's the space utilization in it. You see here the cells, the batteries. Lithium polymer are not completely on the side, so they could have, I suppose, a bit of cost reduction in terms of uh, space by shortening two centimeters the the shell, or utilize the longer lithium polymer batteries, and that would have been. Uh, Interesting if uh, 0 0.15 would be 0 0.15 millimeter strips could be actually um, utilized in a more reliable way, but I wouldn't recommend it for 0 0.15, 0 0.12. Yes, so build quality, safety recording, yes. Um, Fairly good, I must say. There are four offset. Not too sure why um, the ticker plates are only at the bottom and not on the top of the plate. But we see two offset here, two offset below with the ticker uh, plates. Uh, the batteries uh, small enough compared to the height on the thing. Um, it did take a while to charge it for me, but I didn't have a fast bits charger, so it's um, probably the charger's fault. So the add at the end of the assembly was kind of plates on the. On the side there, which is used to seal the system in place. We have one here. And one here. Um, so overall, um, seems to be fairly well built. Uh, from what I see on the side, probably um, good for smaller battery packs that doesn't require thicker nickel plates, um, which is fine for most uh, DIY electronics, I suppose. So yeah, that's it. I hope it will uh, help the future of people interested in this one because couldn't find any serious videos on YouTube describing the inside assembly and outside of marketing stuff. So yeah, that's it.